Welcome back. So even though there's different types of deserts, I guess with the exception of polar deserts, you do see similar landforms. And again, water has a big part to play with that. Um, even though they are deserts, uh, most deserts still get some form of precipitation. So water does hit the surface. It weathers, erodes material, breaks it down, moves it, and creates different types of landforms. So the first type of landform we'll talk about are erosional landforms. These are formed by material being taken away, eroded away, moved away, and what's left behind creates this new landform. Some of those types of landforms we'll discuss include things like uh, plateaus, mesas, and buttes, and hoodoos, uh, natural arches, um, just to, just to kind of name a, a few. Um, again, formed by weathering and erosion, again, the breaking down of movement of material. As mentioned, plateaus, mesas, buttes, hoodoos, canyons, arroyos, sometimes known as washes, uh, and natural arches are just among the few. Are just among the few. So plateaus, mesas, and buttes, they're all kind of the same thing. They're distinguished by their size. They all form the same way, they kind of look ish the same way, but just depending on their size, we call them either a plateau, mesa, or butte. Butte is a the smallest uh, of these types of features. A butte is a small flat top hill or mountain. So all of these have some sort of flat top to them. Um, it's taller than it is wider, so it's more tall. It's taller and skinnier. A mesa, medium sized flat top mountain, where in this case it's wider than it is taller. So it's kind of, uh, even though it may be just as tall as a butte, it's wider. It's kind of fatter. And then we have a plateau, which is a large flat-topped hill or mountain, much, 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 much wider than it is taller. Weathering and erosion, mostly due to water, creates these types of um, images. And you can get all of them in the same area. It's just depending on the size. They could be all formed from the same exact material, uh, maybe sandstone on top, shale below, both types of sedimentary rocks. A lot of these uh, landforms that you'll see, desert landforms, are created in sedimentary rocks. Not exclusively, but a lot of them. So Butte, again, it's uh, shorter as far as, so the, the shorter side is the width, but the longer side is the is the height, compa comparing the two. Mesa, the, between the height and the width, the height is the shorter piece and the width is the longer piece. And in a plateau, the shorter piece is the height and the width much, 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 much longer. So they could all be the same height. They could, these could all be in the same area, in which oftentimes you do see these in the same areas. But just comparing the height to the width will determine whether it's a butte, mesa, or plateau. For example, what we have here um, is looking at the kind of width of it versus the height of the of this feature. So you can see this green line, this height looks much longer than it is wide, therefore it is a butte. You can see in the background there might be some plateaus back here. Um, here's another one, so here's the height of this versus the width of this, so much wider than it is taller, making this one a mesa. And then here, here's another one, here's the height of this feature, and the width of it, it goes who knows how far. So much, much, much wider than it is taller, this would be a plateau. It could be for up to hundreds of miles. Again, all of three of these things, you know, they form the same way, it can be found in the same area, it's just comparing how wide it is to how tall it is. So you know, that gives you butte, mesa, or plateau. Mesa, um, uh, mesa uh, Arizona. How do you think it's got its name? Sitting on a mesa. There you go. Hoodoos! Oh, maybe one of my favorite. Just a fun word. So a hoodoo is like a, a little column or a pillar of some bizarre shape uh, rock caused by differential erosion on rocks of different hardnesses. So different rocks have different properties. Some weather and erode faster, some weather and erode slower. So because of that, you get this, you know, differential rate of, of erosion so you can get different sizes in these pillars so it can almost look like sometimes like you know a big rock on top of like a little small little rock and but these little columns these little pillars are called hoodoos uh, these are caused by weathering and erosion due to water and wind so again here's what i'm talking about um you know the oh my thing went out here
Come on, there it is. So on top, you probably have one type of rock. Below it is a different type of rock, so it weathers and erodes a little bit differently. Um, so, But you see these weird columns and weird pillars. Not, uh, you know, hoodoos can be found in any type of a rock. Here are some hoodoos that are in granite. Uh, the ones on the left here are kind of probably sandstone and shale. Here's, here's granite. So again, these bizarre columns, um, column column shapes. Some look like they're almost ready to, you know, about tip over. In fact, I don't know, it was like five or six years ago, there was a Boy Scout troop or some sort of, I think it was a Boy Scout troop, and they were in Utah in an area that have a lot of hoodoos. And they videotaped it and posted it to social media. I'm so glad they did that um, because they went into an area and just they thought it would be funny just to push over these hoodoos, push over these rocks. You know how many millions of years it took to create these things? And, you know, if you go into a park, if you ruin anything, it's against the law. So luckily they posted this to social media. They got, uh, uh, I think the, the, the troop leader uh, got nabbed pretty quick and um, had to pay a hefty fine. Canyons, just kind of what it sounds like. Uh, narrow, steep-walled gorges carved by swift-moving water. Remember, V-shaped channels. Uh, weathering erosion, in this case, due mostly to water. They are a common desert feature. Um, well, you know, what little water we do have can get funneled into areas and cause these features. Again, now you see that V-shaped, that V-shaped. Oh, excuse me. This is an area of the Grand Canyon. Again, sedimentary rocks, sedimentary rocks. Not always will you see these features only in sedimentary rocks, but they, they, sedimentary rocks are easier to break down than igneous or metamorphic rocks. And then uh, arroyos, what we know as washes. These are uh, dry stream beds that fill temporarily during rainstorms. We have plenty of, of them around the Phoenix area. Flash floods are common um, in desert regions following intense thunderstorms. That water has to go somewhere. Our ground is so dry and compact that water you know, can't really soak in that quickly. So water that hits the desert surfaces typically you know, finds its, the lowest point possible and gets into these washes and flows and creates these flash floods. Um, weathering and erosion of these features due mostly to water. So again, all of these are, are features created by material being stripped away. So washes uh, as uh, material stripped away from the stream channel uh, creates these, these temporarily dry so, so, slash sometimes wet um, small little, little canyons, um, but known as washes. Sometimes they're, they're not very wide. Sometimes they're, they're pretty wide. Uh, just depends on the area, the topography, etc. And then natural arch. Again, material being taken away. Um, a natural arch is just some naturally occurring curved shaped arch, sometimes called bridges in some areas, form um, by wind and water erosion. Uh, softer rock is kind of eroded away. You can kind of see the, the formation of how that might occur. Again, softer rock sedimentary rock are where these are more common. Not that you couldn't have them in, in igneous or metamorphic rocks, but much more common in sedimentary rocks. Softer type of rock, easier to weather and erode. Here's a, a, a natural arch, probably one of the most famous of all natural arches in Arches Nat uh, National Park in Utah, just outside of uh, Moab, Utah. Okay, well, um, that brings us to the end. So these were all... Um, these were all erosional features. These were all erosional features caused by material being stripped away. So when we come back, we'll talk about depositional material, uh, depositional landforms. Those are the types of landforms that are created in the desert when material is deposited. That deposited material makes some sort of landform, and that's what we'll talk about when we come back. So I'll see you back here in just a second.